Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rantway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 8th, 2024. Well, I hope everyone had a great evening, got some good rest. We have another wild day in the market setting up. As uncertainty got the best of things yesterday, and we ended up reversing our Good Friday push to the upside, and unfortunately we end up staying stuck in the same consolidating range so how about we take a look at what happened overnight well first off overnight kind of an interesting market condition um hong kong reopened for the first time in a week and they started to zoom to the upside up over 10 percent but then found out that well the government didn't come out with more stimulus to keep things moving and it started to slide back um, closing the day up 4.59 percent unfortunately um, that same result um, didn't uh, make the rest of the markets feel very bullish and so hong kong fell a whopping 9.41 percent the nikkei was down one percent and australia being down 0.35 percent india was slightly higher last night so there it wasn't all bad but mostly lower last night in european or I mean asian markets when we look at european markets this morning they're red across the board they're not feeling very happy once again all of a sudden that china stimulus seems to have run its course at least for the moment and the dax right now is looking just a slightly lower down 0.28 percent FTSE down 1.14% and the CAC being down 0.74%. And then here in the United States, well, with those bonds easing up just a little tiny bit, and we'll talk about those in a moment, um, we've got a little bit of a bounce back starting to happen with Dow futures right now up 0.09%, S&P futures up 0.32%, NASDAQ futures up 0.2%. Three five percent to begin the day, but if we do take a look look at those bond yields this morning, the two year bond come down from four percent at the close yesterday to three point nine seven percent. The ten year has pulled back just slightly to four point oh three percent, and the thirty year bond has actually ticked a little bit up um, this morning at 4.31%. So we're not out of the woods when it comes to those rates and that uncertainty about what we have lying ahead for us here in the market. If we take a look at oil, oil was also a very significant pressure yesterday seeing those uh, continue to move on higher you can see gap up and move move up leaving a bit of a spinning top doji up here along this resistance well this morning we're getting a little bit of easing there as you can see in xle moving a bit lower we've got oil this morning down dollar 55 a barrel or 2.01 percent at 75.61 a barrel and brent being down um, a dollar 54 at 79.39 a barrel so a little easing up there if we look at oih oil holders also trying to ease up here in those oil holders this morning so we'll want to be keeping a pretty close eye on oil because it's obviously having a substantial effect as Middle Eastern t tensions continue to grow. Let's take a look at what's happening in the precious metal sector. Well, on those precious metals, we had gold yesterday moving down slightly. And this morning, we're doing the same. We're moving down just a little tiny bit. But notice here in the pre-market, they're trying to bounce back up. At this exact moment, um, gold futures are only down 10 cents on the day uh, bouncing off of morning lows silver this morning is down as well gapping down here this morning but immediately finding some buyers trying to push back up so keep an eye on silver 
when we look at copper, um, copper feeling some pressure here this morning, pulling back um, complete reversal from yesterday here in FCX on that move. If we look at COPX, also a complete reversal of yesterday's move in copper. Platinum is lower and palladium also reversing yesterday's nice move to the upside showing a little bit of bearishness there in that if we take a look at cryptos this morning well um, we saw um, cryptos trying to get things going yesterday moving to the upside but ended up fading back here looking at BATO and you can see this morning we are a bit lower as a matter of fact Bitcoin right now is $800.53 per coin lower here this morning Ether being down 12.28% uh, and um, only Litecoin that I can see right now it's got a little bit of green going on in that move the risk we have here is we ran up and coming close to this resistance here in BITO and now potentially showing a failure in here that could take us back down to retest these lows if those bears continue to push in the crypto market. So keep an eye on that. So what does all that mean for today? Well, I'll be about we settle in. Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts. Remember, we want to shake off that bias. We want to look at the charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be, and really take a look and see what the possibilities are for today. Well, first off, looking at the diamonds, once again, we are still stuck. We're stuck in that price range that we just can't seem to get out of, and the choppiness continues here in the market this morning we're trying to bounce back up a little bit if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration well let's look for that opportunity that we could press back up maybe we'll have to break the the top of that um, ugly candle yesterday and then stretch back up here to see if we can test those highs in that consolidation range going beyond that well maybe we can push on through up here and see if we can test that all-time high print and then blue skies above if the bears however were to find inspiration well it's not too difficult to see um, if we we did push down here test the low side of that and bounced yesterday if the bears were to get going here today breaking that support level i would look at this next area right here as the next support and uh, beyond that we would start breaking on down and that might raise a little bit of concern in the market because i would see maybe the next area of price support maybe somewhere down in this area and keeping in mind that we have slipped beyond both of these upside trends that i had drawn in here not so much as to be a major worry just yet but slipping beyond those trends does make for a little bit of concern and if we were to break back down through here that's where we would really raise that um, that risk um, here in the market and probably see some fear if we take a look at our um, whoops how about we look at our spy if we take a look at our spy now spy getting a nice little rebound here this morning pushing back up once again there's that range we've been stuck in seems like forever and a day but it's only been a good couple of weeks that we've been locked in this range and if you can take a look right in here there's that range and we're trying to bounce up today so if we can continue to push here in the pre-market on the spy perhaps we can bounce back up and break the top of that uh, black candle of yesterday and then pushing right back up here to retest these highs and then that possible breakout and blue sky above in the spy however if the bears were to find inspiration today then i think that pullback in here you can see right there at that low that we had yesterday could be important because if we were to push back 
into there and fail that area, then we're likely coming on down through some of these areas of the chart. And that would give up this upside trend here in the SPY and could raise some fear in the market. Beyond that point, you can see we could really continue to fall in the SPY and maybe headed back toward some of these levels, um, looking at that 50 day moving average as a possibility. So keep an eye there on the SPY. Our QQQ, very, very similar. Um, there is a little bit more risk here in the QQQ, just simply because this range is so much wider here in the trade and we actually made a lower high here we'll talk about that in just a second but if the bulls can find inspiration i would say the next place we need to go is back up through this we need to test this area and pop back up through there if we can then we have that opportunity that we can stretch on up retest these highs and of course getting through here would be a pretty big deal at this point in time because we'd still have all of this over here that we'd have to address as resistance now looking at this chart i'm going to grab this line here and just stretch that up here we are still within our upside trend so if those bears were to find inspiration here today a pushback to test this area here i don't think would hurt anything at all it would only be if we started breaking that support level in that chart, pushing on down to this next area of price support, and then giving up that trend that would probably raise some concerns in the market. But one of the things we will have to address is this possibility that we just made a lower high. If that follows by a lower low, that does raise a little concern on the QQQ. So kind of keep an eye on that. Our um, IWM had um, kind of another choppy day, but unfortunately we're continuing to follow this downtrend here in IWM. So if the bulls can find inspiration today, and you can see they're trying to pop up here in the pre-market, if they can push on through this area up here, break that trend and then break up through that little high right there, maybe we can start to turn this back around in um, IWM. Pushing through that area, I'm gonna suggest we then have to reach up into here and then pushing through there. I'm gonna say coming back up here to test these highs in this range that we have been stuck in. Breaking through that, then we start reaching on up here toward those 2021, 2022 resistance high levels in the chart. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration here on the day, well, again, pretty easy to see. I would suggest a push back down into here to retest these lows, see if we can break yesterday's low and then start pushing on down. I'm gonna start looking at for some levels down in here and then that possible gap fill back down here to this very flat upside trend and possibly even coming back toward uh, that 50 day moving average to try and settle in there um, would not be out of the question. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX unfortunately had that higher low come in yesterday. So the things I've been talking about here with that fear starting to come up, well, we can see that we've got this little upside trend now going on in the VIX. And at the close of the day, we were up here testing this last resistance high over here um, at 22 and a half handles, definitely raising some concern in the market and lifting those um, option prices higher. Now, if those bears can find inspiration here today, excuse me, if they can find that inspiration today, then breaking through this resistance here would be the critical point. And then maybe we start coming on up here to test some of these other levels of resistance in the chart, pushing on through with a little bit of fear. But if the bulls, as we see the first thing this morning, they're pushing pretty hard, trying to rebound just a little bit, even though those bond yields are not improving enough to solve this problem, we have um, a little pullback that could occur in here, coming back into somewhere in this range of price support is where I'd look for that little bit of relief to come in 
and um, watch that carefully if those bulls do get going, that little resting pullback coming here in the VIX. Breaking down below there would be a major change in the market, saying those bulls are really re-engaging, pushing um, that fear aside. Now, if we take a look at our T20s, our T2122 had a little bit of a rough day yesterday, kind of whipsawing the move of Friday. Um, we made just a slightly new lower low in here. And once again, we're trying to rebound. So we're dancing around here um, on this pushback up. I would say this morning we could pump right back above that 50% area here. Unfortunately, what I'll show you here in just a little bit. There's no momentum in the market, and we have so many uncertainties for the market to be considering here um, that I think anything is possible here in the market. But if the bulls find inspiration, we have definitely opened up upside opportunity um, if they can get going here. And if the bears were to find inspiration, well, we still have fairly significant downside opportunities here in the market. We just have mo no momentum overall, and that's the thing we've been struggling with for a good couple of weeks here, just lack of momentum in the market. And if we look at our T2108, uh, well, T2108 had a little bit of a problem yesterday, but once again, we, we made some new lows in here, recent new lows, but we didn't break that 50% area here. So, have the stock still holding above um, their 40-day moving average isn't a critical situation just yet but certainly raising some concern as we saw in the vix and t2107 did a much better job in here holding the percentage of stocks above the 200 holding that support level in here in the chart holding around 57 handles, so we're looking pretty good. We still have this downtrend, of course, that we need to consider. Um, any rally back up into here could run into that resistance in the chart. And certainly we have quite a bit of data here showing us that resistance here in T2107. So keep an eye on that. We're gonna need some kind of inspiration to get us moving here. If we take a look at T2101, here's our problem. Even on the big bearish wave that we saw yesterday, almost no increase in breadth, not encouraging those bears to really continue to push this morning. So we can't hold a direction here. We're just still locked in this chop. Remember, we are in total blackout right now, corporate buybacks. Um, the companies will not start coming out from under these until after they have reported. So we've got a long ways to go before we might see that breadth really improve unless we get some news, you know, maybe Israel just says, okay, we're done. Um, and that would re relieve a lot of pressure in the market. Perhaps the bonds really start pulling back again would relieve some pressure. And then of course we have these data points coming our way that certainly could have the potential to relieve or make that pressure worse. And we'll talk about those in just a moment. So keep an eye on that T2101. The breadth is still light and I suggest it's probably going to be very light again today. If we take a look why I believe that, all we got to do is take a look at our economic calendar. There isn't much going on in here that's really going to give us a whole lot of inspiration. First off, we've got some more Fed speak in here. We've got an NFIB small business optimism report. Now let's take a look. That actually did improve to a 91.5 here this morning. So keep an eye on that little bit of improvement there on the small business optimism. And then we're going to have international trading goods this morning. Keep an eye on that. They are looking for that to maybe ease up just a little bit to a negative 71 billion down from a negative 78.8. Keep one eye on that. That might provide maybe a little tiny um, um, upside opportunity if it does ease that much. We've got a treasury buyback announcement, bill auctions, several Fed speakers and a three-year note auction that will be going off. So not a lot here to get too inspired on. And then if we continue on looking into the um, 
earnings calendar, well, there isn't much there either to get the market too excited. We have report from PepsiCo this morning. That's looking lower um, after its report continuing to follow this downtrend. Once again, consumer problems out there really seem to be cropping up. And although we're ignoring it in favor of just anything AI gets the market very excited, a lot of companies are not doing well and the consumers seem to be very, very stressed. So keep an eye on that. PepsiCo moving lower and ACCD reporting this morning. It is going the other direction, a technology stock trying to break back through some of this bottoming action and a massive downtrend. So this still has quite a little bit of work to do, but that's a nice start to the day on ACCD. Unfortunately, that's it for the day. There are no notable reports reports um, this afternoon. So that's it for our inspiration here for today when it comes to earnings. If we um, take a quick look and I want to jump back over here, the uncertainties that we're thinking about here in the market are certainly things like this, um, FOMC minutes, and then the um, number here on Thursday, the CPI jobless claims, of course, and then that PPI coming in on Friday will probably have less impact for sure from the CPI. <clears throat> but we'll want to be watching these numbers pretty closely. So those uncertainties in here um, are keeping the market in check. And if we take a look over here on Friday, remember, not only do we have the PPI consumer sentiment, we're going to get the beginning of the big bank reports, so keep an eye on that. So how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today, but before we do that, everyone, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could, could please click that subscribe button and also click that bell icon when it pops up, that way you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, for taking the time to do that and I apologize yesterday I didn't get to those comments having uh, that jumbled mess that I had going on with the dental appointment and boy nothing was resolved so um, I'll be doing it again but um, I will be back on task answering those comments here today. So thank you everyone who does take the time to do that it does mean a lot to me. Let's take a look at <clears throat> these stocks that are potentially setting up. Remember everyone, they're not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market as that breadth is continuing to stay very, very low. But what that means is we're winding up for something. We're winding up for either a big move to the upside or a big move to the downside. There's a lot of pent up pressure going into these data points. So be prepared for just about anything. Let's take a look at a few things setting up here. I wanted to mention the financials here. First thing we talked about that yesterday, big old reversal here in those financials yesterday as those bond yields continue to go up. And remember, we're heading into those earnings reports <clears throat> with uh, Bank of New York, uh, BlackRock, JP Morgan reporting on Friday. So you'll want to keep an eye on this. We're still holding this little upside um, um, triangle here trying to move through. But obviously there is some uncertainty here in this chart with all of this bouncing around. I would be really, really careful in those financials heading into those reports. Um, these high rates are not a good situation for them at the moment. So keep a close eye on those financials. A break below this support right in here could really send those financials lower. Let's take a look at um, some of the individuals in here. Um, when we look at things like Bank of America, we know that old um, uh, Warren Buffett has been uh, or sold off his position in Bank of America. We've just been lingering in this um, choppy consolidation. So here, once again, we have that situation where 
we've been winding up for something. So you guys um, need to be um, aware of this, that as we wind and wind in these consolidation areas, a lot of emotion is being built and those possible big moves are, um, are getting ready uh, to snap and go. Now it doesn't, I can't tell you from this if we're gonna go higher or lower, I would be watching that pretty closely in a lot of these financials. If we take a look at KRE, we're seeing the same thing in our regionals. We're stuck in this range here up above. We're trying to hold higher lows, um, winding up to some kind of big move here in some of those regionals. So yeah, keep a close eye on those financials. Um, when we take a look at energy in here, well, energy's just had this really big zooming move back to the upside. And of course, we all know that oil is very inflationary and we're raising those prices up here pretty dramatically again. Now, I don't think it gets ugly unless we were to break through um, this resistance and continue to the upside. And you can see we've got that little bit of a shooting star and a pullback happening here in the pre-market. So if we can rest this back, uh, maybe at least to support, watch that for that opportunity. If the Middle Eastern crisis doesn't go away, look for that opportunity that there may be some upside opportunity in that if we continue to see the expansion in that area. So little rest, little pullback is what this needs. Watch for that next opportunity. Let's take a look at um, our dollar. Now our dollar has been strengthening hard here, creating some um, major issues here for our financial companies, maybe creating some issues even for the FOMC as the market is hoping for another rate cut. But this is not looking good at the moment as we continue to see this go up. Now, one of the reasons I think this is happening, and I don't think this is a con conspiracy theory at all, but I think the government has been way overstating um, jobs numbers. And uh, Jerome Powell even said that in one of his, uh, well, in more than one of his um, speeches, that um, the federal government is overstating jobs. So that's giving us a false look in here at a lot of these different things. And I would be really, really careful here. Um, this could easily see that quick reversal here back down, um, particularly if China continues on that path of massive stimulus that weakens their um, currency and we could see the dollar fall back. So be really, really careful with that, uh, despite the fact that we're showing all the strength in the short term. And if we take a look at what impact that's having here on gold, it is truly remarkable to me that we have seen such a strong move in the dollar and we're not seeing gold fall. Gold is just resting and consolidating here, which would not be expected. Um, at all with such a strengthening dollar. So watch this closely. This is showing us that uncertainty in the market, that fearfulness that the market is truly feeling here as precious metals hold up quite well. If we see that dollar start to weaken, well, we've got a great little entry pattern potentially building in here as this rests or consolidates back toward this trend. Look for that opportunity for that to push. Of course, an expansion of the Middle Eastern war could get that going a little bit sooner. So watch gold pretty closely. And you could also look at PHYS as a alternative. If you don't want to trade paper gold, you want to actually trade a physical gold um, situation. PHYS might be something to be watching. The other thing that has been pretty darn interesting is if we take a look at things like um, soybeans. Soybeans have pulled back a little bit, but we're not really breaking down all that much. If we can hold some support in here on this, as that dollar strengthens, we would normally see commodities pull back like this. But if those doll, if we see those uh, bond yields starting to ease that pressure now, um, and we start to see that dollar weaken, look for that opportunity that things like soybeans, things like corn, 
could start moving back to the upside. We're already seeing a little bit of a gap and bump up here on corn here this morning. Watch that carefully, some of these hard asset commodities on a weakening dollar. And remember, we're, the market right now is still, Fed Funds futures are suggesting a 91% chance from the market that we're gonna get another 25 basis coin, uh, point cut in November. So that being said, we are still weakening the dollar and we're looking for some of these prices to move back up. Let's take a look at some other stocks in here. I really like the way this Mickey D's chart is forming up. Yesterday was a little bit harsh, pushing back down to test some of those lows, but I'd be watching for that opportunity to the upside if those bulls can get going. GILD, the same, very, very bullish pattern in here, trying to push on through yesterday, ended up pulling back with that pressure in the market, but I think every reason to believe as we slide out here toward trend there may be some upside more upside opportunity in there this one also kind of surprised me yesterday with the dollar zooming up so high Cleveland Cliff Steel kind of held in there this morning we're getting a little bit of a pullback in here to test some support but I'd watch that closely if that dollar starts to weaken look for the, some of these steel stocks like Cleveland um, Nucor to maybe have some upside potential if that dollar begins to weaken. Watch those closely. Other places, um, APLD, take a look at that. Um, this was looking like it was gonna get ready to go to the upside the last couple of days. Well, we kind of lost that um, upside enthusiasm here. So before this can get going for me, this is gonna have to recover that support and prove to hold then we may have some opportunity for that upside move. At this point, breaking this trend, I do have to watch this for the potential lower high and the possible short. So keep an eye on that. Roku still looking very good in here, um, holding up quite well. Stocks like AMD still hanging in there, looking really good, trying to deal with this major resistance in the chart. So watch that carefully here on AMD. If it continues to rest out to this trend, I would be watching for that next opportunity for that to pop as well. So there's a few stocks for you to pay attention to. Remember, we've got another distraction here today. We've got the Prime Day sales going again today. So a lot of folks are going to be watching for their deals, um, not just in Amazon, but oh my gosh, everywhere. Walmart, Sam's Club, Costco, everybody's doing sales um, to tag on. So keep an eye on those things. Things. That could provide that other distraction here today to keep the market a bit on the muted side. So be careful. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very, very best. Have a great day, and I will see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning. And maybe we'll start to get some answers by Wednesday afternoon or Thursday and get some market movement in a direction that we can count on. Y'all take care. Wish you all the best.